Hey guys, this is Chris from DJ Tech Tools, also known as Flash Flutter. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight into what's going on in the Deck Grat Motion tractor mapping that I just posted uh, on our map site for the MIDI Fighter 3D. Now, as I mentioned, this is built off the Decalize plus Instant Grat combination mapping I made a while ago after a lot of people had interest in it and I wanted to make it myself. Uh, and I just took that, added some things, took out some things, and then made it more appropriate for the 3D. So I'm going to briefly go through what all the buttons do and then show off the motion stuff. Um, yep. So the top four buttons here, they're used to control the deck focus and are going to basically indicate which deck you're controlling. It's the deck A, deck B, C, D. As you can kind of see on the screen behind me, this is selecting B and A. That's important you have the focus um, activated as a software setting, which would be in the preferences under global settings. Deck focus needs to be under software for this to work. Uh, and you need to have your MIDI Fire 3D in four banks disabled hold mode so you can get this sort of functionality I've mapped in. Okay, so now the buttons. Just like the Decalize Instant Grat, for those of you who are familiar, it's everything pretty much the same except for that I've removed the sample slicer and sampler sort of thing. Um, so this is just a shift button. This used to be a sync button. It's different now. It's a uh, motion filter button, which when you turn it on, it turns green or yellow. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit more briefly. This is still a cue or a drop cue. If you press shift, this is a, uh, a replay or a play pause on a toggle. Um, and then we have a bunch of effects here. We have a reverb effect. And you have your uh, T3 delay. You have um, Filter 92 LFO. And we have a popular Echo Freeze, which you can see will flash red nicely to show you when it's on so you can remember in case you forget and then turn it off. Also, you can see I put in the play pause LED. Um, it flashes to the beat just to show you that your deck is playing and kind of looks cool. Anyways, the next row, Beat Masher, most of you are familiar with. Pretty straightforward, four different values. On the bottom, we have our gators, slow gator, fast gator, um, our different filter LFO, and a lo fi. Um, now, the different thing about this mapping is that when you hold any of the buttons, um, the effects buttons, you can then pick it up or tilt it and, and tilt it backwards to modulate them. So, I'm gonna play this again, and let's say I wanna take. Um, let's take, say, this filter 92 LFO, and then if I start tilting it back to me, it starts modulating it. As you can kind of see in the top right of the screen, it's moving around as that. So this is, and this will only happen if you're holding on that button. So I can take, say, the gator, do the same thing. Kind of cool. Now, as I also mentioned before, um, uh, this. This button here is going to tell you that the filter is on, and whenever this is lit up, that means that whatever deck is focused is also going to have filter control on the left and right axes. So, so that's like a low pass filter, like a, a high pass filter, and if I turn this off, it won't do it. Whoops, it didn't go off. But um, yeah, if it's off, it won't work. If it is, you'll get filter sounds. Cool. Now, on to the motion, which probably most of you are just care about, uh, or, or are interested in. Um, I guess one more thing before I go into that, another feature that's still in the, in the deck lies plus instant gra or from that, which I've now put in this, is the juggle mode. So if you press shift, and what is now the reverb button, it will light up here to show you you have some uh, key points. So you can jump around, do that thing. Do whatever you want to do, all that jazz, all good. Okay, now back to the motion. These side buttons on here on the side, the three buttons on each side are going to be your shift buttons to turn on different motion sounds. Sorry about that. I'm keep on pressing the keyboard with this foam thing. Um, 
and what these will do is when you press either of them it's going to set these buttons here and these buttons here as your motion presets for the left and right side. So here you go. This is showing that both of them are off right now which is why the red flashing thing. Um, this, there are basically five presets for each side. I can show you if you're holding on any of the buttons, it doesn't matter which one, you'll, these will light up and then you can select any of these and they'll blink to show you which preset you're on. You can do the same for either side. There are five different presets and then one which is off in case you don't want any sounds or maybe in the case you're in a really uh, bass heavy club or something like that you don't want them to get triggered accidentally. So let's just set it on something. Now what's going to happen is when I turn, move this left, stop doing that. When you turn left or right, you're going to have these effects turn on. So let's just turn this track back on. Now I have it on some setting here, which happens to be uh, delay setting. And then you see I can get more delay sounds for like that. Um, there's like a pitch filter, or, or peak filter, formant filter. And then we have uh, a filter pulse and a P3 reverb. These are more kind of, um, I purposely tried to make this side more kind of coloring effects and these sides more a little bit more aggressive effects. So this one here, Childish Gambino, calm down. Um, and um, we'll, we'll actually just use that for example because it keeps on playing. Um, so if I'm selected on this guy here, this is going to be uh, a beat masher effect. Kind of interesting. Then you have um, a, a flanger pulse. Let's get into the beat so you can actually hear these. Um, then we have a bouncer, which is pretty aggressive but can sound kind of cool. Um, we have Mulholland Drive, kind of distortion kind of sound, and uh, Slicer. Uh, and then, okay, so forward is, um, right now I just have it set to being a delay and reverb sound you're getting in both. And back is pretty much just dedicated to that, those relative effect controls we talked about earlier. So that's pretty much, pretty much all of it. That's um, uh, a short <laughs> description of what's going on here. Um, it's kind of just allowing you to jam out some things and play with some motion. So uh, hopefully I'll have a more thorough video in the future. But for now, hopefully this suffices and gets you something to uh, jam out with and have some fun. So. I'm gonna do that.